Et bonjour à tous, c'est le Steph, et on se retrouve sur ce cet épisode numéro 4, je crois que c'est le quatrième, euh, de The Cat Lady. Alors la dernière fois, on avait été dans le monde des rêves, on avait été récupéré euh, euh, du sang dans une espèce de cœur géant. Euh... Bon, voilà, on a ça, c'est cool. On va le donner à la petite nana, là, qui devra nous filer de son bracelet, pour enfin... Attendez, on va faire ça. Boire, non, on va le donner. Pour essayer de sortir, j'aurais peut-être dû essayer de le boire. Je n'ai pas trouvé ce que vous m'avez demandé, mais... Est-ce que vous êtes absolument certain que ça ne vous aide pas Non, ne soyez pas silly. Bien sûr que ça ne vous aide pas. Bien. J'espère que vous savez ce que vous faites. Peux-je avoir votre nom de bande maintenant, s'il vous plaît Oui. Non importe ce qu'ils disent, je garde mes promesses. Qu'est-ce qu'ils disent Vous savez quoi Ça ne vous aide pas. Bon, j'ai le bon bracelet. Déjà, ça c'est la bonne chose. Euh, j'ai des gants. Je peux essayer de sortir peut-être. Ben, je crois que je peux sortir, ça y est. Alors, on va faire. Euh... Prendre. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Mais c'est les miens, je yeah. peux. Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone looking for something. Thanks. On va lui parler. On va lui dire que je veux partir. Je pense que ça devrait être suffisant. Voilà. I feel much better now. I'm glad to hear that. D'accord. But I can't distract. He should be doing pleasure to you. Blah blah blah. Non, mais je veux, je veux rentrer. Peut-être il faut juste parler au gars dehors. Je suis en train de me dire. Bonjour. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor. J'ai. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only. Ah non, j'ai pas, d'accord. Mais j'aimerais bien les avoir, moi. Euh... Madame. Je vais passer un appel. Je ne sais pas. Bien sûr, mais le téléphone est utilisé au moment. Est-ce que vous pouvez s'en revenir dans 5 minutes Merci. D'accord. Alors, il y a un truc que je n'ai pas compris c'est l'utilité des gants pour l'instant. Euh... Fleur. Ok, tiens, je déteste les fleurs. D'accord. Horloge, lit. Et si je m'endors là D'accord, donc j'ai ça non. <rire> oreiller. Je vois pas l'intérêt de cet oreiller. À chaque fois que je regarde ce qu'il y a en dessous, il n'y a jamais rien. Là, il y a un évier, on s'en branle. Je vais essayer de. Je vais essayer d'aller au bout là. Et je vais appeler à nouveau la nana. Et je vais lui dire que je suis euh, l'autre là. Allez, on fait ça. Je pense qu'on va pouvoir partir. Moi, je le, je le sens bien. On va appeler l'assistance. Allez. Allez, poulette. Bonjour. <rire> Alors... I just wanted to remind you. Oh, well, guess what? I. Ne fais pas oublier. It takes time. I could lose my job if I don't follow the correct procedures. Je m'en branle. Why do I bother? I think it's time we give you some medication. Allez, vas-y, on voit. Can you please tell me your name? Anne Burton, born in 1975. Let me just check your name band quickly. Anne Burton. That's fine. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Oh, I think you got a little confused there, Miss Burton. Good job I spotted this. You wouldn't want to get the wrong medication, would you? 
Here's your sedative and your methadone. I'm sure you were waiting for this, weren't you, sweetheart? I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Elle a dit beaucoup de choses qui n'étaient pas traduites. On va passer. Prendre les cachets, c'est parti. Je crois qu'elle s'est répétée deux fois en fait. Allez en aval, on s'en fout. Hop, Q sec. Alors, qu'est-ce qui se passe Merde, je suis encore. Euh... Putain, mais c'est pas vrai ça. Pourtant, j'avais le bon bracelet là. Je suis pas fou. Comment ça se fait Comment ça se fait Je veux pas aller là. Est-ce qu'il y a un truc que j'ai raté Alors l'ambiance est quand même sympa, mais ça fait chier, il y a un truc que j'ai pas compris. Puis là il y a une porte géante là. Et sous le lit il y a quelque chose. Sous l'oreiller il n'y a rien. Putain. Est-ce que je pourrais pas me planquer Ben non. Je suis en train de me dire, est-ce que je pourrais pas me planquer en l'appelant euh... Alors on va essayer un truc, c'est de faire passer le temps en faisant pipi. Tout à l'heure c'est ce que ça avait fait. Soulever. Je pense qu'elle aura plus envie. Putain. Et si je mets mes gants dans les cheveux. Oh Tirer la chasse. Ça va tout bloquer, je pense. <rire> non, je crois que j'ai trouvé la technique là. Alors, on va appeler. Là, j'ai trouvé la technique de ouf. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. <laughs> What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Allez, on se casse. C'est bon. Ah, oh, it's the gloves again. <laughs> I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty since the cleaner's called in sick. Allez, on se casse. On sort alors. Hop. On va peut-être pouvoir enfin sortir de cette de cet hôpital après deux épisodes dedans. <rire> Tranquillou. Alors on va récupérer la lettre de décharge. Hop. Et ça c'est. Est-ce que je. On va prendre ça Ah bon encore. Bonjour, bonjour. Sorry mom, can't let you. We'll need to see a dip. J'ai. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Bien sûr. Oh, right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Et bim. <laughs> Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mom. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. Et voilà, bravo moi. Ah, on est toujours dans l'hôpital. Um... Employé en lit. On va faire les portes, hein. je, je sais pas euh, ce que je fais là, d'accord. Porte d'une remise, bon, ok. Bureau quelconque, d'accord. 
D'accord. Maternité, sortie. Ah. And you must be Susan Ashworth. Um, well, perhaps I am. <rire> Do you mind if I ask you where you're headed? Putain. I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Oh putain. Cours. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Putain. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? Oh, And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much pas... choice. <laughs> <to go. laughs> le dire. <laughs> J'ai pas vraiment le choix. Bon. Now oh, I'd like Dieu. to ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then. Je une vie géniale. Arrête un peu. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Alors. Euh, toute seule. Et ça me convient. Own, and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? Euh, alors le truc c'est que si je mens, j'ai peur qu'il le sache. Euh, on va dire que je suis à recherche dans... Là... Parce que je crois que je suis une infirmière normalement. Bon on fait pas trop non plus. Euh... Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Je nourris le chat. Alors, je prends un petit déjeuner là. Hein? Je prends une tasse de thé, j'ai le journal, je traîne au lit. Je vais aux toilettes. J'allume la télé. C'est rien. Petit déjeuner. Moi. I eat breakfast. Cereal usually. Excellent. A healthy breakfast at the start of the day is extremely important. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Euh, oui. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure. If I don't see it, it doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Plus d'argent, un ami, plus joli. Euh, alors, pour un psy, c'est quoi la meilleure réponse Un ami. 
someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Oh, dear, no. no, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? No, no, yeah. dort bien, hein? Oh, oui. I sleep well. Ooh, la, la, oui. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Definitely better than before the accident. Good. Hopefully you can now move on from here. With a bit of luck you will enjoy life again. Suicide attempts often have that effect on people. Same as near-death experience. It makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Il faut noter que le suicide est mal, les amis. Il faut pas. No, not really. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Mm, on va dire oui. Sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes, when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Hello. Mm. On va dire non, hein, no, c'est un psychiatre. I don't know what got into me. It's hard to explain why I did it. I must have thought there was no other options left. But I never used to think about it or plan it. It just happened, as if I'd suddenly lost control. I knew what I was doing was wrong, and yet I was unable to stop it. Strange, isn't it? Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Aha. Uh -huh. Um. Voilà. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Non, plus maintenant. On est bien maintenant. On veut sortir maintenant. But I feel lighter. I feel stronger. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? Misha. Uh, un long bain, la musique. Bah, les chats, hein, The Cat Lady. Cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? Alors. La pluie, le bruit, la solitude. Je pas à la solitude. Loneliness. 
I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend, because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react Attends, to vous you? avez le droit à une séance psychiatrique complète, les amis. Euh... Pas vraiment oh, réfléchi. I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it. Since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. <laughs> Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? Uh, D'accord, Jean-Marie. Uh, alors non, on va pas faire ça. I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. Mais non, faut, faut I dire don't non. know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Eh ben, les amis, je pense que c'est le meilleur moment. Et je vous dis tous à la prochaine fois. Merci d'avoir suivi cet épisode. Et je vous fais tous des gros bisous parce que la séance psychiatrique a duré vachement longtemps. Et euh, bah merci d'avoir suivi, puis bah écoutez à la prochaine. Allez bye bye. c'est des pages mais cette fois-ci c'est des générateurs c'est un peu ça le principe moi je cours en rien à mourir non 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 <rire> putain un truc qui court il y a un truc qui court c'est pas une bonne idée que je fasse ça on se casse <rire>